Let's get started making this iconic hot sauce that has taken the country by storm. All you need are a few ingredients and the courage to give it a try. First, we need a small medium saucepan and the ingredients are fairly simple. As you can see from the video, I am using about a half a stick of butter to begin with. Salted or unsalted, doesn't matter, all comes out the same. Next, we're going to use about a quarter cup of manteca, also known as lard. You do need this, this is mandatory. I have not found any substitutions that will make this sauce taste authentic. Next, we're going to be using about five spices, as you can see in the video. Uh, first, I'm going to start off with the Spanish paprika, one tablespoon. These can be applied in any order. You don't have to go by the same order that I'm going, uh, just as long as you use the measurements to start with. I just kind of eyeball it, but it comes out to about a tablespoon. Next is the cayenne pepper. This is what gives it that kick. Uh, the more you use, the spicier it will be. I start off with about a tablespoon and work my way up from there, depending on how hot I want to make it. Granulated garlic. This we're going to do about half a tablespoon. Uh, you don't want to use the powdered garlic. You want to use the granulated. I found that this one actually gives it a little bit better garlic taste. Salt and pepper to taste. I do about a, ta about a teaspoon of each and uh, that seems to work out pretty fine. As you can see, there's nothing really to this hot sauce. It's pretty simple. Just a few basic ingredients, throw them all in the saucepan. Next, we're gonna be adding a little bit of vegetable oil to kind of combine everything. Uh, I'll do about a half a cup to begin. Uh, usually that works if you're following these these measurements that I'm using right now. You could also use canola oil or corn oil. I would not use olive oil or avocado oil, but uh, any of those three would work out great. After you get all the ingredients in the saucepan, it's time to get it over some medium high heat on the stove. Now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna just keep stirring it. Once it start, comes up to a kind of a simmer, a very low rolling boil, then I'm gonna turn the heat down to medium, continue stirring for a couple minutes, then I'm gonna turn the heat off completely and just let it sit and kind of chill on the stove for one to three hours to kind of let it cool off and let all those flavors combine. coming up to a kind of like a little rolling boil. I'm about to turn off the heat, continue stirring for a few seconds till it kind of just relaxes and then just uh, time to wait. And here's a sneak peek at the fried chicken that I'm going to be dipping in this hot sauce. Uh, all you gotta do is just dip it, kind of swirl it around, place it on a plate. I cut up some pickles, put a few little, you know, little slices on there. And uh, there you go. That's about how quick and easy it is to make Nashville style hot sauce. If you guys found this video helpful, uh, please leave a comment down below. Uh, let me know if you guys want to see anything else or what I could have done differently. And have a good day. Thank you.